Hi and welcome to Pedal Platform. In these videos we'll be exploring TC Electronic Tone Print Editor, the software that allows you to access the true potential of your tone print pedals, such as the Hall of Fame, Flashback, Hypergravity, the whole lot. By now you probably know how tone print works. You take your mobile phone, pick a tone print from a list, tap beam with your phone next to your guitar pickup, some ungodly noise comes out, light flashes and whoop, brand new sound to play with. But what if you want to create your own tone print? Well. You can. Connect your pedal into your computer or mobile device with a USB cable, fire up Tone Print Editor and you have instant access to a huge range of options and controls that weren't accessible via the physical knobs on the pedals themselves. In this video I'm going to be using the Windows version. There are also Mac, iOS, Android versions available, links in the description below or just check your app store on your mobile device. To make these videos as short and easy to digest as possible, I'll split them first into the stuff that can be applied to all tone print pedals. This first one will be all about the app's interface. So as you can see, the editor's interface is really simple. At first sight it looks like a simple preset manager, but there's a lot more to uncover. So here on the left pane you have four tabs. You've got the user tab where you will find your own tone prints. I already have a couple of them created for the Brainwaves and the Hall of Fame. We'll talk more about this later. Uh, the next tab gives you access to all of the artist created tone prints and I have them organized by pedal but if you want to organize by artist instead you can simply click the little cogs here on the top of your screen and choose browse by artist. Click OK and now you can see all of the artists and if you click on any of them you will see what presets they created for each pedal. I'm going to set this back to browse by product. The other thing you can do in the tone print setting screen is filter by guitar, bass or all of the instruments. I prefer to see them all. You can also check the serial number and the build of the connected pedal and you can see the version of the app that you're using. In this case I'm using 4.1.23. Click OK and you're back to the library and you can see all of the pedals again. These tone prints in the library cannot be edited. Some artists requested that nobody could see what's going on behind the scenes, so TC Electronic has honored that request and locked all of the artist presets for editing, which is fine. You can still tweak them using the knobs on the pedals themselves. Um, you just can't see what's going on behind the scenes. But where the magic really happens is on the Templates tab. Pick the pedal that you're working with. In this case, it's a flashback two minute delay. You can see it by the little blue frame around the pedal. You click here and now you come to the list of templates that TC have already created for you. I'm going to pick the first one, just keep it simple, 2290. And you click the little pencil icon. And now you have access to a whole range of parameters that you can use to tweak your sound. You can change the rotor settings, you can change delay settings, activate filters, modulations, octaver. You can select which parameters are affected by knob mappings and mash mappings. This is all going to be for the next videos. For today I just want to leave you with an extra tip which has to do with how to save or store your tone prints. As a quick example, I'm just going to fiddle with a couple of parameters. I don't really know what I'm doing here. It doesn't really matter because now let's imagine that this is my perfect delay sound. If I just want to store it in the pedal and I am sure that I will not want to do anything else with it again or that I won't need it again if I overwrite it on the pedal with another tone print, I can very simply click this icon here that says store in pedal. As I click it, it saves the tone print. Tone print saves successfully. Think about this as beaming the tone print to your pedal. If you believe that you will want to use it again or edit it again at some other point, then you need to save your tone print. And this is the button right next to it. You click this button, you give it a name. I'm going to give it the very creative name of Delay2290. Click Done. And now your tone print is saved on the user tab. So you can come back to it. You can reload this preset if you want. You can edit it again, save it again with a different name, create copies, etc. The one thing you can't do for now is share these presets or tone prints with other users or with yourself. TC Electronic have confirmed that they are working on a solution for this that will allow tone print sharing between users or even between your own devices. 
but for now that solution hasn't been implemented yet. What that means is that you have to guarantee that you are creating your tone prints in the device that you are going to use to load them. So for instance, if you're at a gig and you have your mobile phone on you and you need to load your tone prints from your mobile phone directly to your pedals, that is the device that you will have to create your tone prints in for the time being. So let's wait for the solution. It's coming. We just don't know when yet. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Just hit like, subscribe, click the notification bell to get notified when the new videos are posted. So thank you for watching. And if you have any doubts or questions about this app that you would like to see answered, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get there. See you in the next video.